Do you guys like my new light setup now? I feel like you can see me more. This is kind of nice. Yeah, this is good. <laughs> I have these two new panels that I just got. You know, we're trying to level up a little bit. This is good. What's up, familia? Como están? Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time visiting, my name is Jessica, and today we are pandemic cooking, okay? These recipes will be using mostly canned foods, frozen foods, dried foods, whatever you can find easily in your pantry. Also, on a budget, you know, you know what I mean? They will be super easy, but we're not compromising on flavor here, okay? Hope these give you some ideas as we're all cooking from home right now. You can totally mix this up today. As you can see from the title of the video, we're making a chicken fried rice. So let's get started. All right, so here are the ingredients that you're going to need. We're using some toasted sesame oil, soy sauce. Now, if you don't like soy, you can also use coconut aminos as an alternative. Garlic powder and salt. If you have fresh garlic, use it. I just completely ran out already. I'm using this frozen mixed vegetables from Costco. We're also using some chicken breasts in a can. Now, if you saw my Costco video, my Costco haul a few weeks ago, I had a hard time finding chicken breasts. I will be ordering online, but for now, you know, we're using canned chicken breast and it's cheap it's easy it stays so we're good we'll be using some eggs I have four small ones right here if you have larger ones just use maybe three or use as many eggs as you want okay if you want to add more protein in this do it a strange ingredient is the mayo now <laughs> use any mayo you want don't add it if you don't want to but I swear it's going to add this like creamy really really good flavor to it this idea actually comes from Marion's kitchen I saw her add mayo in her fried rice and I was very very confused to be honest with you but I started doing the same whenever I make this recipe it's a real life changer we're gonna use some butter and of course steamed rice that's already been cooked I cooked this rice in my instant pot back there if you're looking for that recipe I have it up here I'll link it for you I'll link it below it's super easy in your instant pot you don't have to worry about it and keep checking on it I find it very hassle-free so if you want to try that make sure you watch that video okay so first things first is wash your can you know so let's just open our can and drain out all the liquid and we'll just set this chicken aside for later I kind of don't like the smell of canned chicken it's kind of weird okay next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add a couple tablespoons of mayo into your rice now this sounds so weird, but trust, it's really, really good. I'm, so I'm using two cups of rice, so I think just like a tablespoon for cup, you know, would be fine. Now we're just kind of coating each little grain of rice. We're not trying to make this a, you know, like my tuna, my elote loco tuna. We're not trying to like saturate it. It's just a little light coating flavor if you will a little extra fat <laughs> all right now we're just going to scramble our eggs real quick just so that that's ready this meal is done so quickly you guys like this is just a quick and done thing if you have everything ready Ugh, i'm so bad at cracking eggs So we're just gonna give it a light whisk. <gasps> is there a shell in there? I've seen chefs whisk their eggs with chopsticks and it looks so cool. I wish. All right, so I switch you guys over a little closer to my kitchen, this new angle that I'm kind of loving <laughs> over here so you guys can get up close and personal with my kitchen. So today I'm using uh, my maiden wok. If you haven't seen my unboxing of this pan, I'll link it above here for you guys. This is an amazing, amazing pan. If you're looking for good, sturdy kitchen pans and kitchen tools like this, this is really, really nice. As you can tell, it's been used and abused. Hybrid between a cast iron and a steel pan. So it, really, really nice, super nice wok. So that's what I'm gonna be using today. All right, we have all our ingredients ready and prepped. This part's gonna be super fast, okay? All right, first, let's turn this on. It doesn't take very long to heat up. So first thing is we're gonna add in our butter. So yummy. I'm just gonna wait till that melts. We're putting this on like between medium and low, okay, for now. Now we're just gonna add in our chicken. Careful. Oh. All right, we're mixing. 
Okay, next we're gonna add in our garlic and salt. So if you have um, fresh garlic, please use that. Season how you would like. These are the two basic things. You're gonna wanna kinda break up the chicken. It's kind of chunky. This already smells so good. Ooh. <laughs> All right, next we're gonna add in our frozen veggies. So use whatever vegetables you have on hand. We're gonna use around like a cup to a cup and a half. You know, just kinda eyeball it. And now the best part, we're adding in our rice, our mayo-infused rice. All right, next we add in our toasted sesame oil and also our soy sauce. The sesame oil really adds a nice, a toasty, nutty flavor that is just so good, even though it's a seed. But it really gives it that flavor. You know what I'm talking about. I'm going to add about um, three tablespoons of soy sauce and about a tablespoon of the sesame oil. So, just add that in and mix it all up. Mmm, it smells so good. We reached the very end where we're gonna add in our scrambled eggs. You wanna make sure to put a little hole in the center of your pan so that your eggs can get scrambled and cooked through. And then we mix everything together so that we have this really, really nice combined fried rice. Look at that rice. The mayo keeps the rice more on the chewy side, which I personally like. So a little fun fact about me and why I'm actually showing you how to make one of my favorite all-time dishes. So my dad's grandpa was from Canton, China, or it's actually called Guangzhou. He ended up marrying a Salvadoreña, don't ask me how. He was a really great cook and taught as many generations as he could. His recipes passed on, so I actually grew up eating a Salvadorian Chinese fusion of foods. I always had some sort of Chinese or Asian rice with every meal with bistec empanizado, pollo entomatado, or what the heck, we'll even have fried rice with some frijoles volteados or tortillas, you know what I'm saying. So now I guess I'm passing a little bit of my family tradition to you. All right, we are ready to taste this. We need a final taste, but I don't know if a lot of you know, I'm allergic to eggs, so I actually can't myself. So I brought in some reinforcement. This is my quarantine <laughs> partner <laughs> and real partner in life. This is my husband, Chad. This is my chicken fried rice. Okay. And I'm not gonna tell you what's in it until you taste it, and then I'll let you know what the secret ingredients are. I'm only gonna taste it if you're gonna spoon feed me. Oh, okay. So maybe I should get you a little plate or do you wanna eat from the big mound? From the mound. I'll get some egg It looks hot. <laughs> <laughs> what else is in it? Oh no, I'm not supposed to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> it was really hot. <laughs> I like dropped it in instead of. <laughs> Mama bird. No, it's not in your beard. How is it? It's really good. Is it good? Probably. Lime in there? There's some lime. <laughs> no, I oh. always put lemon in everything, but not in this. So this is using canned, um, canned chicken. Okay. I actually didn't even use real chicken. It's kind of disappeared in there. Yeah, that's cool. And then I also use mayo in the rice. It's oh. good, right? Yeah, I like it. Thank you so much. Oh. Uh...
<laughs> I hope you enjoyed this recipe and this video everyone please let me know in the comments below or tag me on Instagram let me know if you tried it I would love to know Chad that's to share with everyone but if I eat directly from it no one else can eat it no no one else will eat it and you ate from this one too <laughs> anyways thank you all so much for watching until the next video ciao stay safe say bye to everyone I did say bye <laughs> with your rice so you can see this is a lot of rice actually like yeah. this already looks like a mound and there's art like half of it was still in here so you can feed an army with this except now a one-man army. One army of you <laughs> uh -uh. okay now in spanish <laughs> why did i put my hands on my hips i hope people don't notice my sick voice does it sound sick Maybe I should mention that it's not the coronavirus. I'm pretty sure it's not. I'm pretty sure it's not, but I am taking care of myself. So I apologize in advance for my my weird voice. I'm still here for you. I'm still here wanting to make videos for everyone.